Have you ever wondered about the rich and storied history of Japan? Let's travel back in time, thousands of years ago, to the Jomon period. This era is named after a style of pottery crafted by the earliest known inhabitants of Japan. These people led a hunter-gatherer lifestyle, fishing, hunting and gathering plants. They left behind a rich tapestry of artifacts, including pottery and tools, that reveal glimpses of their lives. Fast forward a bit to the Yayoi period, where a significant transformation took place. Migrants from the Korean peninsula introduced wet rice cultivation and metalworking to Japan. These advancements revolutionized the way of life, marking a shift from hunting and gathering to settled farming. This period also saw the introduction of Chinese influences, including writing and Buddhism, which began to shape Japan's enduring cultural identity. These early periods laid the foundation for the unique culture that Japan is known for today. The Asuka period marked the emergence of Japan's first centralized state. A momentous time of transformation, this era saw the introduction of Buddhism, a faith that would deeply influence Japanese culture. Alongside this spiritual revolution, the political landscape was being reshaped by the Taika reforms. These changes aimed to centralize and enhance the power of the imperial court, echoing the model of Chinese governance. The Asuka period also witnessed the construction of awe-inspiring temples and regal palaces, physical testaments to the growing sophistication of Japanese civilization. As we transition to the Nara period, these developments continued to flourish, culminating in the establishment of a Chinese-style bureaucracy. This was a significant step in consolidating the power of the state, formalizing the roles and responsibilities of officials, and creating a more organized government. With these developments, Japan began to take shape as a nation. The foundations were being laid for the rich tapestry of history that was yet to unfold. The Heian period was an era of cultural blossoming. The imperial court, at the height of its influence, gave birth to some of the most enduring aspects of Japanese culture. This era saw the creation of literary classics like The Tale of Genji, penned by Lady Murasaki Shikibu, a tale that continues to echo through the ages, painting a vivid picture of court life and intrigue. But as the Heian period waned, a new power was rising. The Kamakura period marked a seismic shift in Japan's political landscape. The Kamakura shogunate, established by Minamoto no Yoritomo, moved the nation's fulcrum of power from the refined imperial court to the hands of military leaders, the shoguns. This era heralded the rise of the samurai class, warriors who would shape the country's destiny for centuries to come, infusing it with their indomitable spirit and martial values. This period marked a significant shift in Japan's political landscape. The Muromachi period was marked by civil wars. A tumultuous time of power struggles and conflict, yet it was during this very period that the Ashikaga shogunate was established. The Ashikaga clan, led by Ashikaga Takauji, overthrew the Kamakura shogunate and seized control, marking the commencement of the Muromachi era. Amidst the chaos and strife, a new political order was born. In the wake of such upheaval, Japan was in need of a unifying force. Enter two formidable figures in Japanese history, Oda Nobunaga and Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Nobunaga, a powerful daimyo, set about the immense task of unifying a fractured Japan. His military prowess and strategic brilliance brought much of the country under his control. Upon his untimely death, his loyal general Hideyoshi took up the mantle. Hideyoshi completed the unification process, ushering in the Azuchi Momoyama period, an era characterized by political stability, cultural blossoming, and the construction of grand castles. However, the tranquility of the Azuchi Momoyama period was not to last. Power once again shifted hands, this time to Tokugawa Ieyasu, who established the Tokugawa shogunate and initiated the Edo period. This era, stretching over two centuries, was a time of relative peace and stability. The samurai class, once warriors, transitioned into bureaucratic roles and culture, particularly arts and literature, flourished. But the Edo period was also marked by a unique policy, Sakoku, or a state of national seclusion. Japan closed its doors to the outside world, severing most of its ties with foreign nations. 
This self-imposed isolation allowed Japan to maintain its sovereignty and cultural identity free from foreign influence. Yet as the world outside advanced, Japan remained frozen in time, its society and technology largely unchanged. This intriguing paradox of peace and stagnation set the stage for Japan's eventual modernization. Japan's isolation during the Edo period had profound implications for its future. It's a testament to Japan's remarkable ability to adapt and transform, to honor its past while boldly stepping into the future. The Meiji Restoration of 1868 marked the end of the samurai era. This significant event in Japan's history signified a dramatic shift from feudalism to a more centralized government. It was a period of rapid modernization and westernization as Japan began to shed its isolationist policy. The country embraced Western technology and transformed into an industrial and imperial power. Railways were constructed, factories were built, and a modern army and navy were established, all while maintaining a deep respect for Japan's cultural heritage. With this transformation, Japan emerged as an international player. The country's participation in World War II, however, brought devastation. The dropping of atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki marked a dark chapter in Japan's history, resulting in an unimaginable loss of life and extensive physical destruction. Yet the resilience of the Japanese people shone through during the post-war period. The nation underwent an American-led occupation which saw the drafting of a new constitution, the renouncement of war, and the establishment of a parliamentary system of government. These changes set the stage for Japan's remarkable economic recovery. The post-war era, known as the Japanese economic miracle, saw Japan transform into one of the world's leading economies. This period was characterized by high economic growth, technological innovation, and the emergence of global brands like Toyota, Sony, and Nintendo. Today, Japan stands as a testament to resilience and innovation. A global economic powerhouse, it continues to lead in technological advancement while maintaining its profound cultural heritage. The country's unique blend of tradition and modernity, from ancient temples to towering skyscrapers, from tea ceremonies to bullet trains, reflects the remarkable journey of a nation that has continuously evolved while preserving its cultural identity. From the ancient traditions to modern achievements, Japan remains a land of endless fascination and inspiration. It is a country that has truly risen like a phoenix from the ashes of its past, embracing change while honoring its history. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.